What's going on? Vincent Rapsardi, BigBlueUnbiased.com. So the New York Giants lost today. A lot of people are down. Uh, not a great game. They didn't play very well, especially on the offensive side. Eight sacks allowed, six on Daniel Jones. Colt McCoy came in, got sacked a couple times. Daniel Jones didn't look good, also kind of hurt at the end of the game. It wasn't a good game. I think their defense played actually fairly well considering how bad their offense was, um, but it certainly wasn't a good game. Also understand that bad games happen. The Giants won four games in a row, especially, I mean, we're talking about a team that started out 0-5 and they made a comeback. All of a sudden, uh, you know, they have a legitimate chance to win the NFC East. This is still pretty amazing what they have been able to do. I wouldn't give up on them just yet. It happens. Bad weeks happen, especially young teams. I mean, look, again, understand who the Giants are. They were 0-5 for a reason. Now, they played a lot of close games, but they were still 0-5 for a reason. They're not perfect by any means. Do I think they're for real? I still think that they're for real. I think when they play their best game, they have a legitimate shot if they make the playoffs to win at least a playoff game, considering what I have seen so far. They played a lot of good games, a lot of close games. They were flat this week. Again, it happens. They won four in a row coming into this week, and overall, they have won five of their last eight games, which, again, is pretty good for a young team, for a team with a new head coach, a new offensive coordinator, a new defensive coordinator, a young team, a young quarterback, and a quarterback that's been kind of banged up, and, and it's, it's not been easy. A young offensive line that's kind of piecing it together with a lot of new pieces. So, again, relax. I didn't expect them to run the table and win every game uh, the rest of the season. So, again, relax. The Giants weren't going to win every single game the rest of the way. They were going to have a bad game here or there. Every NFL team does. It happens, especially, again, Daniel Jones looked rusty coming off an injury. I didn't like their offensive game plan, and I think many would agree with that. I don't. I don't think Jason Garrett coached up a very good, uh, coached up a very good game for the New York Giants today. The game plan was flat. I really think they should have came in with the game plan that they had with Colt McCoy last week and really tried to establish the run. Remember, the Giants' offensive line is built for the run game. If your pass block win rate still um, not very good. They've been doing aside from this week in prior weeks doing better in terms of giving up fewer pressures and fewer sacks, but kind of the the meat and potatoes of their offense is their run game and the their offensive line's ability to run block. Nick Gates, Will Hernandez, they were top 10 at their position in run block win rate and Andrew Thomas was right up there too among tackles. So again, that is their strength of that is the strength of their team and I thought coming into this game with Jones not being 100%, I think we can agree he's not 100%, was banged up at the end of this game. It would have been best to come into this game with a Colt McCoy-like game plan, establish the run, run the football, and try and at least be somewhat even in time of, time of possession. I mean, Arizona had 15 more minutes than them in time of possession. You look at last week against Seattle, it was just about even. I think Seattle had like 40 seconds or a minute longer in time of possession. The Giants did a good job of establishing the run, had 190 rushing yards, 31 carries uh, overall. Um, so... This week, about 17 carries, and they really didn't establish the running. Wayne Goldman looked like he was running pretty well. Um, so I didn't like their game plan. I needed to see more play action, um, and I didn't see it. I think a lot of people didn't like what Jason Garrett put out this week for the Giants, and I think their defense actually played fine. It was just their offense put them in so many bad situations, especially early in the game. The Deion Lewis fumble, there was just things that didn't go their way. The kick fumble, um, weird. Which, I don't understand how that's not reviewable. Um, they're saying you can't review it because you don't know if it's intentional. Well, how do you know if anything's intentional? How do you know if a pass interference is intentional? Either it's a pass interference or it's not. Either you kick someone or it's not. I don't know what to say. I mean, the guy's leg was raised pretty high. That was a kick to me. I think everyone saw that. That should not have been ruled a fumble. It just shouldn't have. And it should be reviewable. I don't understand. I think uh, Dean Blandino said it is what it is. You got video for a reason. Look at it, review it, and make a call. I don't get it. Um, so I don't understand that. But anyway, again, the Giants offense just put their defense in such a bad spot. Jabril Peppers was a bright spot. He was running around the field. He has taken over for the Giants. I think he had 13 tackles today. Um, huge bright spot for the Giants. Their defense is fine. Their defense, uh, this is, the Giants defense is very good. So... They'll be fine. It's about their offense just not putting together performances like this. They got to be a little bit better than this. You can't do this. You can't have 15 more or 15 less minutes of uh, time of possession on offense unless you're throwing 80 yard touchdown passes consistently and you're out there for 30 seconds each, each touchdown. 
it's going to be tough to win when your offense doesn't stay on the field at all and they're not sustaining drives and they're not scoring points. It's as simple as that. So I think uh, moving forward, especially this upcoming game that they have against Cleveland, try to establish that Colt McCoy game plan that they had against Seattle where they really uh, push forward and try to emphasize the run game and, and use their offensive line to their advantage because they have eight sacks today. Their strength right now, especially as a young unit, is really not in pass protection, especially when the defense knows that they're throwing it and they're down by points. That's not that's not the bread and butter of the Giants' offense, okay? They need to establish the run, and they need to play to their strength, which is running the football and using their offensive line, which is a very good run-blocking offensive line. So that's what I would say moving forward. I wouldn't worry too much about this this, this game um, when it comes to the Giants. They were going to lose a game, okay? Especially Arizona's a solid team. Arizona's 7-6. and six. Now they got a good quarterback. Okay, Kyler Murray is a good quarterback. He's a tough quarterback to defend. He's shifty out there. I mean, he extends plays. I mean, he's a very good quarterback. So I would relax on this. The Giants didn't play a good game, and it happens, especially with young teams. They come out, and they play bad games sometimes. I think the Giants still have a lot of potential. They, sh- they showed everyone against Seattle that they can beat a very good team on the road, too, and against a very good quarterback. So I would say pump the brakes on this loss.